One, two, three. All right. Because if I don't do that, I spent hours trying to figure really? out. Yeah, because I have to match it. Like, if it's not matched up perfectly, it's very noticeable. Uh-huh. Where it just looks like one of those old timey movies. So what's the point of clapping? Now? So the clapping is now I can visually see where the sound of the clap happens on this camera. So if I'm just talking here, yeah, I can match it on 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 that camera there, right? Uh, the audio, <laughs> but you just re- I can't match your reacting right. and like listening. So uh-huh. if we're both clapping at the same time, the action is visible gotcha. and audible. So <laughs> I went out the hard way several times. That sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, <clears throat> one of the sacrifices you got to make for the LPDS community, I guess. All right, Jabronis, we're back. Special guest, the Bone Crusher's back. I'm back. Welcome back. It's Thank been a you. long it's been road. A long time. Yeah, it's been it's been quite some time. Yeah, not I'm, quite a year, but it's been a while. Yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. went through some tough times after Nikki Sticks, you know, won the guest of the year championship belt. Yeah, you know, I went into an exile. <clears throat> And you know, had a little bit of a road to recovery. Yeah, had yeah. to work my way back to it. So you gotta, I had yeah. to earn my LPDS tank top, wear it proudly. So something that Sticks does not have yet, honestly. I mean, that's already putting me in the in the uh, front runner. So oh for yeah, this year. yeah. Sticks is is he started <laughs> off pretty low with his bragging and his yeah. <laughs> tomfoolery or whatever. But glad to have you back. Glad to be back. It's good to be, have you back in the seat. Yep. Um, we got a little bit of an agenda today, like a little topic, I guess you could say, not an agenda. First time but, we've had it. Well, we did a WrestleMania one, but. Yeah. And that, I mean, that is always going to be long anyway, because we have so many WrestleMania stories. Yeah. But at least this one is like sort of more of a no nonsense. This is just something to educate the people mm-hmm. because the junction, they probably, most of them like sports specifically like baseball. So. Yeah, and it's baseball season, so yeah. So we're just going to do a little bit of like a, I don't know what you call it, like an etiquette, like a fan etiquette. Yeah, so, baseball game etiquette, I would say. Yeah, yeah. So um, we'll get right into it we'll, again. No nonsense, no no tomfoolery, um, and we'll just step into the cage. <laughs> okay, let's run. All right, today's into the cage segment is proudly sponsored by. Tony Rigatoni's mom's dating service. We all know that once Mother's Day is over, everyone forgets about their mom. Well, not world-renowned sex creep Tony Riggs. You see, Tony has set up a service that takes your mom out on the town to service her every need and desire. From dinner to drinks to unwanted groping and touching, Tony's mom's dating service does it all. So to... To sign the assault waiver and schedule that special night for your mom today, head on over to your local off-track betting site and meet one of Tony's highly untrained employees who will sign you up immediately. And if you use the promo code MEETOO, you'll get 2.9% off your first date. I mean, we are filming on Mother's Day, so. Yeah, yeah. We'll put this out after the fact, but this is kind of like a reminder. Tony wants to let everybody know that Mothers should not be forgotten after Mother's Day. Yeah, you got to take care of them. So. Yeah, and he's he's always he's always, always on scheming. The prowl. Yeah, he's always <laughs> on the prowl. An aspiring stepdad, Tony Riggs. All right, today's cage fact. This is I stole this from. He's been doing so many interviews lately for the for the new movie Press Junket. Right, mm-hmm. the junkets. <laughs> um, and somebody asked him in one of the interviews what what his dream role would be that he hasn't played yet. I mean, um, what hasn't he played yet? Right. I, so that was like a tough question. And especially since he just played himself. Right. It's like, what else can you do? Right. Um, but he actually said that his dream role would would be to play Jules Verne's Captain Nemo um, because he loved because they both. What did he say? Let me, let me quote this. They both have a shared love of the sea, um, which is a, a sort of like a double fact because he wants to play this role but he also has a love of the sea that was previously unknown to most other people what if he played jules and Vern from back to the future so (laughs) maybe that's an indirect that's what i was thinking too is like maybe he indirectly is like paying homage to doc brown himself (laughs) one of the weirdest scenes of all time is that last scene of back to the future on the train where his kid is doing like the uh the camera thing and he's pointing (laughs) to his (laughs) peepee Those kids just look weird. Like they're strange. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they were well, they were strange kids. 
it. <laughs> just leave it at that. Yeah, it's a family show. We'll just leave it at that. Um, but we'll spin it right up into the junction, get the logo up there, and just and get it going, really. Um, so we discussed every time baseball season comes around, we always try to get to games, and it always brings us back to, like, our old playing days, but also, like, what we hated to see while we were playing as far as, like, the fans and what we still hate to see when we're in like watching a game in the stadium or even on TV sometimes. Yeah. I mean, so we've played, obviously we've played forever and now not playing anymore, going to more games. You see, you see more stuff in the crowd. Yeah. And yeah. You're paying attention to something different now. Right. And just a lot of people in the crowd bug me and it, <laughs> it actually came up because I sent you that video. Remember the video of the guy? I mean, we could talk about it. That's what led to it. It was the video of the triple B in the front oh, row. That's right. On yeah. The foul line. And they had a whole like montage of how many times he was just like, it was three or yeah. four times during the game. The first time it was like a, uh, no, it was a pop-up like foul a foul ball. Yeah. Couldn't catch it. Next time it was a, like a grounder foul that he couldn't that it, like him in the, Yeah. And then the third time was the ball girl <laughs> flipped him a ball and he still couldn't <laughs> catch it. Like if, if, if you go over three in the game, you, you should, you're gone. They gotta, yeah, you got you got to go. So I sent it to you on Instagram, and then that's when we kind of that's started talking about the conversation yeah, for sure. Yeah. Multiple. So yeah. I wrote I wrote down a few. I'm sure you have. Some. I got a small list too, but I figured you had a, you know you had a pretty robust list as well. But that's one of them. Like that's the first. We'll just talk about that one first. Is like he and we'll, we'll kind of paint the picture because I don't know if I can get the video. If I do, I'll put it up here. But to paint the picture, the guy was dressed. <laughs> that was one on my list right here. Oh, it's yes. like the guy was dressed like he was just coming from work or, you know, he was going to a meeting or a conference or something. Yeah, we've seen that a lot at Nats Park are our, our guys that even there's no way they just came from work because a lot of them are wearing shorts with like a button a down. Button down. Yeah. In. And they like the penny loafers with no socks. Yeah, they it's just why are you are you going to the game to watch the game or to conduct business yeah it's like it's like they're dressed for the kentucky derby which is another weird thing in itself is like i know back in the day people used to dress that way to games to baseball games or other sports because that's what they wore like that's all they wore yeah yeah they just wore wool suits because that's all they had (laughs) but now they didn't have sleeveless tees yeah they didn't have (laughs) tanks or v-necks or anything (laughs) but now these people are choosing to wear that and i know like people always argue oh yeah it's you know you want to be professional and you want to always look good. It's like, shut the fuck up, dude. No, I, I, whenever I see that, it, it always takes me back to wanting to go to Camden yards. Cause it's much more like blue collar baseball there. friendly. Yeah. yeah like there's, is. there's dudes there that are just there for the game and yeah. Like, have fun. Yeah. They're wearing sleeveless oh, yeah. jerseys, oh, sweat yeah. shorts, George, like <laughs> they're there for baseball, <laughs> Baltimore George. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but the the whole button down, like it's uncomfortable too. I don't know if if late. I mean, ladies wear they wear uncomfortable stuff. It seems too. But that's a whole t- other. Yeah, tucking in a shirt into like slacks or pants with you know a belt or some people wear suspenders. It's nuts. That's just uncomfortable. Especially and like, you sit in those small seats. Yeah, you're you're cramped in. It's summertime, right. so you're sweating your balls off. <laughs> So you look even worse now because you got pit stains and and just slop everywhere. But at least you like your shirt is Tommy Hilfiger or whatever. I guess it looks cool. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it it, again, it's it's a lot here locally at the Nats Park in D.C. Yeah, I mean, I haven't been to this thing. I I ultimately would like to go to every stadium around the country, but I've only been to a handful. But Nats Park is a different animal in terms of I think that's the worst one. I've been to as far as like baseball stadiums, not, not other places, not like football stadiums. Yeah. I mean, the crowd's good. They're, it's not like they're throwing batteries at, you know, like at Yankee stadium yeah. or Mets at, yeah. the, at a city field uh, and, you know, cursing out and trying to fight the, the players. Like, yeah. It's like just, they did recently. Right. It's just the baseball culture is just not there. It's, yeah. They're not there to watch the game. They're there because that's what like, that's the a big, DC society is right. telling them D- to do. The DC sports market in general is a very, front runner happy or front runner filled town yeah where it's big time everyone is a, a caps fan or a nats fan or a, or a washington football yeah foreskins fan <laughs> commanders <laughs> <laughs> 
like, but it's only when they're winning, you know, and then like when we went to the Nats game last summer, they were in last place and there was no one empty. there. It was yeah. completely empty. I went again with um, family show Terrence mm. and the, the that Nats, was this year. Right? That was this year. Yeah. yeah. Beginning of the year. They already kind of stink mm. and empty. Yeah. I mean, O's Park is always empty. I went there recently and but they were playing the Yankees. So, so it was filled up, filled yeah. with Yankees fans. I will say, though, that. Uh, the Washington Commanders, Commanders, <laughs> Commanders. Yeah, yeah. Their uh, their fan base is still is still more loyal than yeah, which is crazy to me. On a side note, because their their franchise is like riddled with sexual abuse and a culture of like assaults and rapes within the organization. Yeah, wasn't there like a DEA investigation recently too? Yeah, last and year? it's like another ongoing internal investigation that they're having in the NFL to see like who's raping who. <laughs> and it's and it's like the fans are like, yeah, I love this team. Yeah, but the fun. Nats pretty clean cut. The yeah. Caps are pretty clean cut. It's like if they don't win, I don't care. Yeah, the people like the Caps have really blown up in this area. I mean, I haven't really gotten into hockey, but they, I mean, they win and everybody goes to those games. They go crazy. Yeah, they get them. pretty packed. Um, but the lo- that's a that's something I put on the list was like the like the fan loyalty or like why you're there is kind of like a problem to me. And it's not a big issue because if there's less people there, it's better for me because I yeah. get to enjoy the game. But I just never understood that. Just don't go to the game. Right. I don't get that. And you're spending good money to go. It's not like it's cheap. Right. I mean, even if you get a ticket for 15 bucks, like you still have to. Yeah, you're still spending $15 for a hot dog. Although that does lead me to my next point. Go ahead. People who bring their own snacks to the game. <laughs> Check it off. Yeah. Now, I don't mean snacks like peanuts and sunflower seeds. Or something for their kids, maybe. Yeah, but like a banana or grapes. Like, <laughs> like a bag what are you of doing? They're making a bag of groceries. Who's with buying them? this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't get that. I, when I was at the Orioles game, there was like we were at the they have like a rooftop type bar in center field now. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty new, similar to Nats Park. And there was a family there legit like they had full meals in like huge Ziploc bags, like chips and sandwiches, like <laughs> go to the game <laughs> and eat the the food at the stadium. Yeah. That's the whole like experience I, of it. Yeah, well, that's one of the reasons why I I buy like the shitty seat tickets yeah. one, because if you're going to like, depending on the stadium, you could probably get a better seat just by walking up to oh, one. Yeah. And two, then I can just splur like yeah. all my focus is on the, the ball, you know, the, the stadium food yeah. and the slot. Well, they, there. And now they mostly all have like specific things to that city. So yeah, you know, at the Orioles at Camden yards, they had um, like a, a crab, like some stand that had all different like crab mac and cheese Ooh, and crab good. fries. Yeah. And it was packed. Like the line was longer than any of them. So that's what, you know, that's part of going that's to the part game of the experience, the city specific yeah. cuisine. Now I will say uh, JPL three is not here to defend himself, but way back in the day, if we were able to scrounge up enough money to get tickets to a Yankee game, mm-hmm. or if somebody like scalped us Mets tickets, my father would make sure we would hit like, the local deli where like he always had a connection. Yeah. That's how he got paid for his lawyer <laughs> duties was like, he knew the deli guy. He got him out of a speeding ticket. Right. So we got free subs. And I mean, we, that's pretty good though. Plus also too, like he would spend his salary on a Yankees Yankees game for the five of us and be like, right, well, we're now we're not eating. Right. We're, we're either going to the that's game or we're eating, but I don't it's, know. it's still funny. Like if you're not on the outside, you're still looking at a bunch of, like jabronis yeah eat, like bringing their own like hiding yeah. subs in their I, bag I said and stuff. family it was not like a mother father and kids it was like four grown adults oh yeah that stuff. come in for like yeah like just buy the go buy you know a, a pulled barbecue sandwich yeah that's not like they only have shit food anymore <laughs> right. like stadiums used to just be like you have this soggy hot dog like or the, or peanuts that's it yeah yeah and, and beer. beer yeah assorted beer now you can get everything everything cocktails and pizza yeah and... the dc uh, the nat stadium has a sh- like a shake shack or whatever it's called oh, yeah well our go-to when we go to the big stadiums is you got to get chicken a chicken finger basket yeah yeah I mean, a basket of... go to yeah you have to i mean <laughs> chicken fingers or chicken sticks i think yeah. it started with me i haven't but... seen chicken sticks since 2008 probably. yeah that was a stadium delicacy that we'll never find again. legendary <laughs> yeah 
What do you, what, I, what do you got next? Um, so we we discussed this earlier. Uh, well, just you know, offline, I guess you can say. Uh, but adults bring in their gloves. Yeah, that was my I, big one. Yeah, I mean, we can we could talk about that no, now right, at the go end. For like, it. like <laughs> what, what are, are doing? we doing? <laughs> If you're over the age of 12 and you're bringing a baseball glove to a game, there's something wrong. Leave. Yeah. yeah. Unless I did see one guy to his credit, he brought one of those novelty giant gloves. So like it's like si- a gimmick. It was a gimmick, yeah. like the size of him and just like walking around like at the outfield, you know, areas of a stadium. Just that's okay. it was a joke, that's like a clearly a joke. But it, if you're a grown man in slacks and a button down yeah. shirt, carrying your glove to the game. Yeah. A glove that you never use. Like clearly you're not using that glove ever. No. So I don't know if you had it since you were a kid or you bought it just to be a fan of games. I just don't get it. And if you're a a male man, (laughs) alpha and a ball is hit your way, you need to just wear it off the hand. Yeah. But by the time it gets to you, like most of the people are in the outfield. Yeah. Like, it's not going to be that hard to, to catch or body up at least. Yeah, just like, suck it up and yeah, like try to take it off the it's hand. It's brutal. Yeah, when they bring the gloves and then they like celebrate, like, oh, I got it. I got it. It's like, you're a loser, dude. Well, a lot of times they bring the gloves and you still see them not Miss. able to catch it. Yeah. So that's a double lose. Yeah. And then like what, what bothers me, it really makes me sad, honestly, is if they're there with their kid. And their kid has to witness them be absolutely garbage <laughs> at a sport. And it's just like that kid's going to now we're just creating more beta bitch boys. That's yeah, all we're doing. It's just furthering the. Yeah, the it's B like behavior. that kid, unless your mom is a softball player, like a star or an athlete, like you're you're fucking doomed, buddy. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing, especially because on TV, they cut to that all the time. They cut right to it so you can get the close up look of this absolute like sloppy mess do with a glove she just like and it like hits him here yeah. it's like not, not even, even on close. his glove no it's brutal <clears throat> but that was a big one for me that, yeah that was my that was my big one yeah that, now that you, really just i don't know why it bothers me so much i just don't get it man i just don't get like what do you think what do you expect to happen i mean i've been to a lot of baseball games like minor league major league for since I was a kid, yeah. since Griffey Jr. was still yeah. playing with Jay Buhner in the that outfield, accused of taking steroids. Yes, right. <laughs> I'll never <laughs> forget that. possible steroids <laughs> abuser. And even as a kid, I didn't take a glove, but there was only one time I can remember it was actually Griffey himself where I where a ball came close to where I might have been able to catch it, and I was in the upper deck of Yankee Stadium right next to the to the right field pole Mm -hmm. and he hit a laser beam that just went foul and about like six seats away from me it it, it, like curved away from me and i still didn't have i was still ready to catch it with my bare hands as a 12 year old yeah and that was it so it's like it's just reaction just the math and this like the the mindset behind it all is like what are the odds you're going to get a ball to catch anyway one so you're just lugging this thing around for no reason well a lot of times too they're wearing, they're carrying the glove and they're in a seat that is nowhere close to where a ball is going to be hit. No, ever, ever. in the history of baseball in that stadium, like <laughs> in the Babe hundred Ruth, years yeah, of baseball. Yeah, Babe Ruth can't come back from the dead and hit one up there. Yeah, it's just. I was at a, a Keys game, a Frederick Keys is the A affiliate for the Orioles. For oh, the, over for in Maryland, right? Yeah, up north. And I, I was probably a teenager, maybe in high school. And I remember there was a foul ball hit, but it was scorched. And I remember it ricocheted off the concrete and I sna- like just snared it like Spider-Man <laughs> and it hurt bad, but you, you That's have the it. ball. Yeah. Like, you yeah. got the ball. Yeah. yeah. You just suck it up. Yeah. And, it. and you're not thinking like, man, I should have brought my glove. Yeah. <laughs> like, but never also too, it kind of a sidebar is the guys that when they do catch it bare hands and you see them like, yeah <laughs> like come on man yeah. just suck it up and yeah swallow the pain. adrenaline of, of catching a foul ball especially in the majors if it's like one of your you know your heroes or whatever yeah. like 
suck it up, hide it. And you got to give major props when you see like the dads when they're holding a kid and they snag a ball. Yeah. Yeah. Or like, they're like, they're like not spilling their beer. And there was, catching it there was one that the bat went into the crowd a few years back and he like the, the guy. Oh, they have the, hit him in they the have arm. that picture where he's got a yeah. giant, like John Cena forearm <laughs> yeah. and the bat's just ripping him yeah. in the arm. But he, like protect the kid behind. Yeah. Him. And yeah. if you see the video, like the picture looks tough, yeah. but when you see the video, it's he's tough. Oh, like, yeah. he's a tough yeah, guy. You got to wear it. That's yeah. You got to wear it. And there's nothing less masculine than like a mush who's like skinny fat and a button down with like his girl on a day. And he's just like fumbling and dropping <laughs> or he's wearing a giant like softball glove, like a 15 inch mm. glove. And he's just an embarrassment. Yeah, and, that's bad. And I look at that. and I'm just like, like, if if you want to leave him for me, I I could step up if if you need to. Yeah, Not that yeah. I'm anything to write home about, but I'm better well, than this fucking guy. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you're the you're the head of the LPDS. <laughs> the head of the table. <laughs> yeah, it's just embarrassing. So one thing I had, it came to me late, and I, and I I don't know how you feel about this. Guys keeping score at Major League Baseball games as a problem for you? It's, like it's weird. Yeah. So me. I get I guess I get that they enjoy that part of the game. But to me, it's it's like you're going to a game to do work, kind of. Yeah. The only thing I don't have a problem with with that is if it's like, again, like a father teaching his son, right. because my grandfather taught and my father too, like was showing me before I started baseball, right. like this is how you keep score of the game. And like, here's what backwards K means. And here's what balls and strikes yeah. and stuff. And we did it one game. And then that was and it. Never again. Like it never again. Like it was like a teaching moment. And then it was just like, okay, like a couple innings so I can do it. And then that was that. And a lot of these things are like a lot of these things that we've talked about are different. If it's like a parent with a kid. Yeah. It changes the dynamic right. a little bit for sure. This is more a, a a etiquette as an adult male going to a game. Yeah. Like with friends or, you know, himself. Right. I've noticed it. It's with older guys though. It seems they like I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of guys like our age or younger doing it. Yeah. And I don't know if that's because like they back in the how. day. Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's probably it too. But back in the day too, that was like, there was no phone to check stats or whatever. Yeah. That's maybe, the, yeah, I mean, maybe I don't know. Yeah. But everything like you're flooded with stats and the numbers are up on the giant screens. I know again, older stadiums like Fenway, it has the old analog still. So that's yeah. the only stats. Maybe that's why. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I don't, it is I don't, usually don't. older. It, it, it's more weird when it's like a guy our age that's doing it. Yeah. Like, he's usually like alone. <laughs> he's probably not have, doing a lot of sex, Like, but with still, sex. yeah. <laughs> But still, you're sitting there watching, like, you just watch the game, right? right. Like, just enjoy. I, I get it. That shows like dedication. You're clearly there for the sport. Yeah. But also, like, just enjoy the game, yeah, man. I mean, just pull out your phone and they have the stats for you. Yeah, I don't know if it's paying like a, money to go to it. Yeah. And you're paying money for the book to, like, right. and carrying buy. the book in. And you're carrying just, the book yeah, around. And, it's just weird to me. Yeah. My, my, what I try to do now at games is all these connections of, baseball that i've built over the years is try to go to games without having to pay for tickets that's the way to do <laughs> so it you could save money for food <laughs> exactly that's <laughs> for I chicken mean, tenders <laughs> chicken tenders and you know those small cocktail two oh, cans. those little how you doing the what the hell is that one called cut, cut water? water the marguerite yeah. daddies oh yeah, yeah those i mean are we're not av- we're not uh advertising for them but no we're not sponsored sponsor. but if they want to be <laughs> i'm sure things. 45 other people listening would definitely buy those things do the trick they do the trick. Yeah, that's fun to to enjoy over there. Um, one thing I got, speaking of kind of boozing at the games, is when people who get too wasted. Oh, yeah. And they just become an absolute problem for everybody around them. That's, I mean, that's everywhere, not just baseball games. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. But specifically at games, because, again, like, if you're going to a bar or a club, like, it's annoying as shit. But it's like, I got it. We're at a bar. So yeah. People are going to get that way, even though I still hate it. Yeah. But at a game, it's like if you're going to drink your sorrows away <laughs> get, at a, just at an Orioles hammered. game, like <laughs> just, just stay yeah. at home. Yeah. Like go to betterhelp.com. They right. have people you could talk to. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I did see that at the Orioles game. Like, again, the Orioles park is much more blue collar and like people it are is. there to like kind of party and have a yeah. good time. 
and with the blue collar, you get that a lot. And across the street at like the pickles and I can't remember the name of the other one. Um, but it's like packed and people are just, you know, getting, getting hammered. It, but yeah. like, if you're going to get going before the game, just let it like, let it ease off as the innings go on. You don't yeah. have to keep going. No, you don't have to have like seven drinks for all seven <laughs> innings. They offer booze. It's, that's a lot. I, I Plus mean, it's so expensive too, from a cheap standpoint. Oh yeah. Like we're talking 10 to 14 dollars a beer easily that's yeah. not like the hard liquor that they're selling yeah, if you now. get that it's closer to 20 probably. yeah and then you're just getting banged up to the point what like you don't remember what happened like yeah. I it doesn't do it for me <laughs> no i don't get it um and that sort of leads into uh my my the next one on my list i don't know if you have it on yours but you were kind of alluded to it with yankees fans and i have no problem admitting this but like the people who are just like absolutely trash bag shithead fans oh, yeah. that try to cause like fights with yeah. players and stuff like especially that especially in in like other if you're the fan of the away team yeah and you're going into the, the home to the stadium, lions then yeah i mean granted like it's not packed with orioles fans but no like at a football game you know i'm a giants fan i've been to the eagles stadium i'm not going there trying trying to get you know stabbed Right. Or into a fight with everybody. Yeah, you know? you're just going to, the, to enjoy the game. But people right. are going there with like an agenda. Like, I'm going to get fucked up and I'm going to yeah. like trash this guy. I'm going to show this guy that, you know. Yeah. Like, or, I, or I'm just going to heckle the right fielder the entire game. Yeah. And, until it disrupts the game. And, and throw stuff at him. And, yeah. I don't get that. Yeah. Um, and I and I know like people dog on Yankees fans all the time because they're notorious. We are notorious for being some of the shittiest fans. And I don't like. I'm not denying it. I don't like it, but I'm not denying You're accepting it. it. Yeah. It's just like, un it's unfortunate, but that's something I, because as, as soon as it disrupts the reason why I'm going, that's what I have a problem with. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't understand why people can't just go to think like public events and just enjoy and Just be okay with their life. <laughs> right. like, yeah. You want to get a nice buzz. That's cool. You want to, you know, eat your food. That's cool. Just be normal. Yeah. You know? Again, what is the, like, What's yeah, the point of exactly? It what are you there for? Are you are you there to watch the game? Or are you there to like make it about you and cause a yeah, problem? Yeah, like f drink your sorrows away, forget that you know you're in a loveless marriage or something like that. I don't know what it is, but guys get banged up and they get you know real rowdy. banged up. Yeah, the the one I had a, a pet peeve or or etiquette is guys. Again, these are adults that are going with friends or themselves, guys that are wearing jerseys of neither team that's yep, playing. I got it too on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I, what are you like? Are you just are you just showing like I know sports? Like I like sports. Like, like and for me, I, I'm a little bit more picky. Anytime I see a guy wearing a jersey of like, so if if we were at an Orioles game and it's like someone who used to play for the Orioles like 20 years ago. If it's like a big name player, you know, Cal Ripken, like Cal Eddie Ripken, Murray, yeah. like, yeah, Chris I get Davis. that. But if you're, yeah, Chris Davis, I mean, that's a, <laughs> what a legendary a no signing. Yeah. Uh, but if you're wearing, like, if you're going to an Orioles Yankees game and you're wearing, I, I don't know, a, a Brewers jersey, yeah. unless it's a Ballstein Brewers jersey. Right. <laughs> but I just don't get it. Like, I don't understand why, like, I have a cousin that lives in Milwaukee. Like, okay. Well, yeah. You're not at that game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he got me a jersey. Like, I don't get, I, I, I think their, their connection to try to give him the benefit of the doubt, which I don't know why I'm doing is I'm going to a baseball game. Like I have a baseball Jersey. Yeah, I, I will wear it. Yeah. I will, or any sports Jersey. I'll wear it to show people that I'm here for sports. Like I, still though, like, why are you wearing a hockey team's Jersey at a baseball right. game? This is just simple sports etiquette. It's very simple. I it's 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 like simple math. Going to baseball game, dress baseball appropriate. Yeah, let's, like, let's put the whole let's put the whole equation together. Yeah, you're going to an Orioles game, wear an Orioles shirt or some Orioles paraphernalia. Go to the game. Don't bring your own snacks. <laughs> eat the food that's there. Enjoy the game. Yeah, and don't get hammered. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Pretty simple. There you go. Yeah, pretty simple and cost effective. Yeah, it's. I, I, again most of these things are just like i, I want to know what's in your brain yeah, when like, you decide to make it's more decisions. nitpicking but yeah it's, it's just stuff we observe right and then i'll never like i'm never going to a game wearing a another like sport or team's jersey or b dress like <laughs> like a fucking like you have capital a hill call. yeah 
fucking wiener. <laughs> um, what else D- you got on your dickhead. list? Yeah, <laughs> that absolute dickhead. <laughs> That's all I have. I have um, <laughs> this is most of the people that are getting like blackout drunk, um, kind of fall into this. The people not paying attention that are again that are there like you see this in the dc crowd i always dog on them a lot but this this just the preponderance of games that we've been going lately is they're just like again there because you know it's the cool thing to do they're not paying attention they're not doing anything but just like taking up space and just being there again it's a very minor pet peeve but it's still like a a, just a little shit it's it's another one of of like just a pet peeve in public is you know like you're walking through the the corridor or the mall or or the amusement park and the flow is going and people just stop and they just, you know they're just looking around like but you're you're and yeah and they're there like their mindset is i'm the only person here right, <laughs> right. now and right. it's like you're you're not right. dude i got news for you get the hell out of the way yeah and that's what it is it's like they're not paying attention and it ends up causing some sort of ink first world inconvenience for me and I get, I know it's like a little, a little pet peeve, a little thing, but it's still well, you, fucking annoying. You've seen in the past where like people aren't paying attention with a foul ball or, you know, and they get drilled. And they get rocked. Yeah. yeah. And then the guy next to him was like, man, I should have brought my glove. <laughs> right. like, <laughs> and then we took it for, full, full circle. circle. <laughs> yeah. I hate that shit. <laughs> um, I got two more things. Hit me. One. Make sure I got, yeah, only two more. Do my math here. Um, I called it the high maintenance fan. The people that are in your row specifically that have to get up every five <laughs> minutes to like take a piss or like <laughs> they get a hot dog and they come back. And they're like, oh, I forgot a napkin. They got to go back. Uh, it's, Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's Excuse back me. and forth and back and forth. <laughs> and I get again, it's different if you have a family and you have a couple of piss pants yeah. kids that you tell them like a hundred times. We're going to the bathroom now. You sure you have to go? Mm-hmm. And then they go and they come back and the kids like, I have to go to the bath. Like I get, I feel for those yeah, people. It's got to be rough. Yeah, yeah, that's rough. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, I'll keep getting up for right. you to let you go and do your thing because that looks miserable. Right. But it's the people that are just like guys like us or people, you know, with no families or kids there. And they're just constantly being a problem <laughs> or like a couple that You're has to go. Problem. Yeah, they have to get up, <laughs> go, oh, let me take a picture here. And then they come back and get a hot dog. And, like, and it's just get like go somewhere like, else well again it's you're making it all about you c- completely unaware of the people around you yeah trying to the 30 000 other people yeah. there that exist yeah it's very annoying and then the last thing on my list and i discussed this i forgot what i was talking about i was bitching about something uh, several episodes ago yeah. and it's um people who wear flip-flops to the- <laughs> It's less so with anywhere or at baseball games. Well, really anywhere, but at baseball games. The airport. Yeah, that's. I gotta, think that's what it was. Ta- I was talking about something. Do an airport episode. Oh yeah, that's yeah. an easy one. Yeah. Uh, but at sporting events, mainly for men, because I I can't speak for the women, but for men specifically, like I know what goes on in those bathrooms. I know how disgusting stadium yeah, bathrooms the are. Frag. The frag <laughs> and the shrapnel is everywhere. And as soon as I see a guy in flip flops, no matter where he is, even if he's in a suite, I'm just like, your foot is loaded with fucking piss and germs and shit. And usually those guys like they get home and then they just like go to bed, right to bed. (laughs) Yeah. They're like, I shower in the morning to stay refreshed. And then they're just in bed, just stewing in the pee pee frag. (laughs) Shrapnel. Yeah. And then, of course, they have like banging hot wise. I was like, what? Well, what do you see? In we that? saw a solid flip flop look at the JP Serco company. Oh, pick. yeah. The jeans with flip flops. Yeah, that, I hate that. Power look. Yeah, that's terrible. That's a big Florida look, too, <laughs> which made me. That was the first time I saw it was down in Florida yeah. with people who wear jeans and then the flip flops. I was just like, what do you do? Like, yeah. what is that look? I don't get it from a practical standpoint. Besides the fact that, like, I hate feet. Yeah. Just to like. It's a given. Yeah. But just like, oh, like, I'm I'm cold. But I'm not that like, but my dogs are barking. Like, so I need to cool. You know, I didn't want to put on socks and shoes. And shoes. That's just too much. Yeah. I can't do it. And like, even when I'm going to like the beach or like a public pool or something, it's still very rare. You see me in flip flops. I usually <laughs> have like low top cons or vans that I wear. Yeah, you'll get sand in your shoes. You don't care. No, because yeah. I, I'm a mental. I get that. Got whatever. I'm self-admitted. But everywhere else that people are just like. I'm just going to wear flip-flops to Walmart 
and like outside and then i'll just get shit on me <laughs> and, and i like, can't do it because i'm sitting but like they just like drag as they're, they're dragging flopping. yeah they're flopping it's like <laughs> slapping down like and it's and that and yeah. or or like they're like duck footed so like part of their heel is dragging on the floor with it and it's just i don't, I don't the, get it. this is a, it's kind of it takes it to the, the route but uh people climbing over the seats like stepping on the seats oh yeah <laughs> Like you're just taking all of the pee pee frag from the bathroom, everything, and then everything that you walked, and then you're just stepping over seats. Yeah, that tell, people are sitting on. Tell me you've been to a stadium where the surrounding areas of a stadium are pristine and clean. <laughs> yeah, like never, ever. never. You're walking in the slums of that city, most likely. Exactly. It's and now a- you're and now you're putting it on someone's seat to sit on. And, and some of the stadiums, like they'll have the people that like you know wipe it down. Yeah, but. Not so much anymore. No, they they hardly ever do. Yeah, that I just thought of that. People climbing over seats. Yeah. And then the flip-flop people are doing that. And again, they're still getting like barefoot portions <laughs> on that everywhere. And it's just they're bringing that, they're tracking that all home. Barefoot and it's just portions. <laughs> BFP. <laughs> it's just disgusting. Yeah, it I really hate is. it. And it's again, it's just like all these little things. And most of the time, like more often than not, you'll get um, you'll get like clusters of it. Like the same person yeah, yeah. will be the guy in the button down tucked into his cargo shorts with flip flops and a, a glove. glove. Yeah. Yeah. Who can't catch, who anything, can't catch and who brought his own snacks. Right. Like that's the guy you get. And then like his buddy is his college buddy. That kind of looks like, like old fat Nikki sticks yeah. before, before the, the marathon training picture. <laughs> I can do it later. Yeah. Um, and he's the one who's getting into the fights and getting blackouts. So it's always like they're they're grouped together. Yeah, it's usually one and the same. Yeah. And that's maybe what's the most annoying is that these people are like so not aware. They just have zero self-awareness oh, yeah. whatsoever. That is just like, I don't know how you survive. I don't know how you attract like a spouse or how you how do you do your job? Like <laughs> you must be garbage at work. It too. might be. Like, I mean. Again, we might be more like hardcore baseball people. Maybe. Obviously, we are. Yeah. And we just kind of know what to, you know, what what to do and what to, you know. I don't think it's that. I think it's them. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely yeah. them, but Jesus. I like to I like to be introspective sometimes too, but also like get a clue. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, we try to look out for people as best as we can, but yeah, we can only do so much. And that's why it's important to like and subscribe and tell your friends and enemies so that other people can learn from this stuff. <laughs> How else is anybody going to learn? That's it. Their, their parents certainly aren't teaching them. No. Again, that poor kid and that hot wife who have to watch their husband like spill his rosé while he tried to catch a ball with his glove <laughs> like all over his new like Gucci shirt. Like that kid's not yeah. he's doomed. Yeah, he he'll play he's doomed. He'll play a couple seasons of rec soccer. Yeah, coach pitch. And then if his dad is the coach, then he's really <laughs> fucked. Yeah, screwed. Big time screwed. Yeah, it's a real problem. You can't all have a big Mike coach yet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we want to talk about a national treasure. <laughs> but I, that's all I have on my list, I think. Yeah, that covered most of them. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have others, feel free to, to send them over call into the hotline we can always again keep talking about more we can do follow-on discussions and don't stuff like that don't bring your glove to a game just don't that's do it that's a big one yeah. that is a big that's one. number one yeah don't do it yep unless unless you bring a kid with you at the game if you have a kid that's okay and it's his glove that you're holding for <laughs> otherwise no don't carry your kid's equipment yeah either. that's, that's a big <laughs> like he carries his own that's another one yeah that's more of like that's more of like little league little league etiquette. uh yeah the environment we'll, there. we'll get but, into that if we ever have children one day yeah i mean i don't know if anyone's stupid enough to have a kid with me i'm gonna have to sneak one past the goalie but, hey, you never know yeah one day but uh that's all i got unless you got anything else to add nailed them before we go though this is pretty tight i don't know how long we've been going but not bad maybe the quickest like business episode hey, gotta get good. down to it that's right uh before we go very quickly the big three gotta hit it the most important thing that I can provide to people and that we can provide here from the LPDS is the big three to be a better, happier, um, more stress-free person and to pass that good shit on to others. Number one, exercise every day. Got it. So it's such a simple concept. Again, just go for a walk. The creature 
he goes for, for a walk every night. If he even if, even if he works out during the day, mm-hmm. he always gets his steps in and gets his post dinner exercise in. Clear your so mind. simple. Yeah. Yep. Uh, number two, toughest one to do. Don't be a shitty person. It's real hard. <laughs> it's very hard. And that's again, I, and I tell like I say this all the time. It is so easy to think about and just be like, yeah, don't be a shitty person. Simple concept, but it's very hard to do. So I get that. Uh, but just step back and understand that there's like a human being over there. I mean, people could say that we're being shitty people by ragging on all these guys, but we're putting it in a public forum to try to educate. So, right. And we're not, yeah, I haven't tagged anybody in the post yet. Any specific man, right. Any person yet. Um, And I'm certainly not doing that at the games where I'm just like, being a shit bag to someone at the game yeah. just because they're clueless. Right. Uh, unless it's a, like, unless it puts me in danger, then that's a different story. Yeah, then obviously. You to, then you have to react. You have to react. Yeah. You go back to the muscle memory yeah. of war <laughs> training. Yeah. You're training back to your training. Um, From army. Yeah. <laughs> Where I got all my medals, <laughs> my awards. Uh, and then number three, the most important one, be genuinely thankful and grateful for all the good you have in your lives. Um, that is really like the key one to, to get you into that, that positive mindset to realize like you got a good life out there. Um, it's not, you know, it's not all, uh, doom and gloom all the time. So, um, I'm grateful for you being able to come back here. Yeah. We got to get them in while we can, right? Yeah, for sure. Cause Mm -hmm. who knows where I'm going to end up by the end of this year. Yep. Uh, could be anywhere. So, um, thank you for coming by. This is awesome. Well, Look, if you haven't seen the Nick Cage movie, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? You know who hasn't seen it yet? Take yeah. a guess. Sticks. Sticks. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. He definitely doesn't deserve. He that doesn't belt. deserve. No, that's why I stripped him of it. Yeah, he's been, <laughs> it was, he, he didn't relinquish it. He, no, he's he been stripped. stripped. Yeah, that was an official stripping, if you will. But go see the movie. Thanks again, Bone Crusher. Thank you guys again. Don't forget, like, subscribe, buy the shirts. We got a couple shirts left. So yeah, hit me up great. in the text or DMs. Yeah, you look big, too. big time right there. And then also hit the hotline. 202-670-1114 is the hotline. You can ask questions. I'll put out questions that you can answer through the hotline. You can ask for advice. You can give advice. Whatever you want to do on there. It's a free for all. I can't promise I'm going to put everything on there, but call it in and have a good time. We'll can't see what we can try. do. That's right. So thank you guys again. I love you all. Stay strong. <laughs>